welcome to same intro as before. It's a train. Huh? Welcome everyone to Fall in London. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's a weird thing. So I see Sunless Skies, episode one. So yeah, I got this game long with Sunless Seas, however, Sunless, you know. Audio, that's fine, I guess. Graphics. Standard. Okay. Controls should be the same, I imagine. New game. Legacy. Obviously. Hmm. Sure. So I can actually mess with that. I'm not going to. I assume it's going <coughs> to go on default. It's only if you turn against the spears and plunge your domains into lawless night. Well, you in the dark. I land in the... Uh, and does this have to do with sunless seas, though? Like, I have to wonder if this is the same world. Oh, God damn it! Now, you know what this game reminds me of? It reminds me of Total Biscuit, because that's how I found out about Sunless Seas. Was he did like a stream of it or whatever? Let me match your seas locomotive, the Orphean, March fourteenth, twenty oh five. Mission to the domains of the dead has been eventful. The Orphean is damaged and grievous need of repairs and supplies. Turning in haste to the Reach, where hope to make a port of New Winchester. Copy with us for a thousand deaths wait in the sky. Living Captain Amelia Charity Whitlock DCM written shortly before her death. Fail Better Games presents. Our engine turning up. Blue King in transit relay. Oh wow, this into the reach and untamed sunless span of the heavens, the frontier of celestial garden run wild. Back from the Blue Kingdom, Mr. Mulchus, your local man is damaged and Captain Whitlock badly wounded. I don't know if I like this so much. As officer of the crew, look to you, the nearest station in Winchester. You get the Orphean there safely? Apparently not. Much to easy as stokers, you can find a barrel few among the detritus. Zimatis. Just here, less fortunate than even you. In the sky, pocked with recent gunfire. In the boarding party, don your sky suits, garments of wax canvas lined with felt, setting against the cold of the sky. Two of the crew are whispering as they dress. It's the Captain Whitlock having the blue king in many ways. What the devil do we pass? Trust the districts of the dead. Signs them thousands at the time. Across the thing, the gap between the two engines is wide, but the endless fathoms have a gate beneath it. While well, you jump, you stir it lurches with vertigo as the stars blaze above you and below. There, the heavens ascend and torn by unpredictable winds. You would sit the ring board of the Ozymandias, and the gloved hands fumble for holes. One of your companions throws you line, shut two engines together, only then do the rest of the boarding party follow you. Forces open an exterior hatch and you clamber inside. The interior is cold and unlit and whistles with the wind. Fire's lamps spread buttery light over the narrow panel passages. Make your way toward the hold, stepping on bodies humble in the corridor. Anyways, blocked a bulkhead has been Um has been mangled inward by a well aimed barrage. I don't know, what do I have more of? 
Uh, to use a pry and such a word. I'm back to watch it, it shouldn't do so carefully. Failure. He's training in some incendiary memory event from a year ago. A boiler exp explosion and trapped engineer beneath a tangled plating and pipework. This first time seeing you were second together, you pried the wreckage upwards enough for you to crawl beneath it while the captain breaks the bar across her back. Well, to me, you just take your time, she grunts as you drag the engineer out. But then the twisted bulk of yeast suddenly the crewman cries out, its jagged edge bites him. Taken to back to the Orphean while the rest of you press on. The way is clear. Uh, you reach out as you hold a ruin of smashed cargo and spill supplies. Hopefully somewhere in Miss Aditra's parts to repair the Orphean and restock your stores. Quickly the Osmedian's hole has begun to creak. The more may have compromised its integrity. You find enough food and gear to restock your supplies and enough spare parts to make necessary repairs. Orphean... Uh, the food will need to be thoroughly thought, of course, but you've even worse than this guy. Oh-ho! Cries one of your party. Crying the lid of a long crate, holds a cannon, still nested in the straw. And pulls a battered bird cage from powder and cargo. Cage, something wing and furred, open so high, use that when you find. Four supplies, and... More hole. Um, there's many as amidst a long juddering creek. Rather exchanging there with glances from the chaos of the hold. She repairs and supplies and discovered some useful equipment, a gun that can be mounted, locomotive, and an educated bat. The Jerusalem cannon on the Orphean. Her own weapons are damaged during fire from the blue kingdom. That leaves you vulnerable. Claim both this and the bat. Elevated definite bat employed as a scout. Heaven, uh, heavens are wide. Ports are uh, wrecks like this one to scavenge. So much for you claim both this and the bat, so much for that. Federer fell on another stage, Jerusalem fires a single shell, and range more or less accurately. To your party to get it back to your vessel to fit immediately. Groans again, the structure shudders spasmodically. Oh, there we go. Meh, da da da. Jesus rescues and inconvenience immediately begins haggling over pa Are you. Wait a second, they're a light? They're. Okay. I didn't realize they were a living thing. Well, you know, I didn't real. Immediately begins haggling over pay, yeah? I'm gonna put it back in its damn cage and leave it on as many as at which point it becomes more polite. You doubt it will last. Ah, uh, no. It's too dangerous to stay. Okay, it's only one. So that actually costs supplies now, huh? Now, what has it found? Well, uh, hide it. Uh, the walls of the captain's cabin are lined with hodgepodge of curios from across the sky. No eyes in bed, black marks cover her skin like a monstrous brand. She causes a cause of accurate smoke pours from her lungs. And the captain's injuries, of course. A word of living fire pursued the word. Across the uh, Blue Kingdom, it caught you just before you passed through the transit relate to the Reach. Since it's been upon the captain, it burned itself right through her. Like the whispered. And it closed the words of her wounds. I could see the sign is seared into her bones and her organs. And this is on the inside of her lungs, too. So I'm going to find her copper bowl. There's nothing the doctor can do. And the captain's cabins are lying on the... Okay. That was blistered from the blue fires that dance on her tongue. And grips uh, your arm, her skin is hot as a kettle. Engine's orphan will be yours, the voice is just a rasp of burned meat breath. Uh, she wakes up to scream a word in a language that was not made for human mouth. I'm speaking English. You make her request a little more than a guess. Promise me one last service, promise. Obey your last command. Whatever it is, you'll see it done. And relieved all of my will, it'd be a better. She. 
Things off as the sigil burns in her bones flare. And cherry red through her flesh and skin, but her kept an eye. So, sir, she sinks back into scorch pillows in a twisting frantic fever. I'm an engine command. You're liking the captain to have long left. What? That was not the time, mate. It's interesting, to be sure. Okay. <coughs> well, Vesselage poised to pull into the Poland Rivers, somewhere something selling a victory. Well, I was pledged homesteads and our travels go across the reach. Carry stolen valuables. If 40 sovereigns. Marine party returns with wallets and watches, cufflinks, lockets, and keepsakes. Safe to be pawned when, if you make it back to port. Chart. Interesting. Discovered something a station. I don't know, we are home. Wait, seriously? New Winchester. Um, you coast into the bustle, the din, the suit, and the seam of Wolvesy Station. It is clogged with other engines, scrappy mining locomotives from Lustrum Wing. Swear is gleaming with frost. Sleek uh, company vessels with bright brass fittings. He pulled the, uh, the sidings and a uh, brush station master, but hustles over. He's coming aboard. I must speak with you, Captain. Says brandishing a letter, the usual for Mary's. If he shoulders his someone's head is in his hand, he lowers his eyes. The passing. In Lake, where this looks, he himself feels something more empty. The station master looks confused. When the unfortunate Captain Wheelock has just passed. Ah, he says neutrally. Sorry to hear that. Very, very sad, very sad. He waits for a while. You consider him probably a minute and a half before continuing. I see you missed the tragedy, the cogs of your arguments run. If Captain will not cease, then Station 3 requires an answer from the first officer. This back on look at his pen, it will be relatively plain. List name, background, purpose of visit, etc. Shall we begin? Let us begin. So yeah, that makes sense that they had to do a full thing. Oh boy, are we doing this? I'm a Zayla. Today London lies beneath between the stars of the new empire and falls across the heavens. And you know, before the northern game was open, before the renewed Empress, you know, in the skies that lay in a vast cavern far beneath the earth, deep, dark, marvelous. Who were you then? I was a Zayler. You remember bats winging across the still black sea, the distant lights of London, home um, salty prayers offered to heedless gods. It was our life and often shorn, but you made your mark. You explored. In the far lonely journeys, you endured a nameless hardship. You grew in the face of almost uncertainty and then got shot by them. Ooh. <coughs> well, fame the truth. You inside the secrets, but they won't keep them from you. Well, friend. <coughs> you in an unwise quest to learn a secret. This the stars hide. What drives you? Curiosity, justice, insolence. As it will be tested. We want this is demanding a mission. Oh, okay. Never mind. Eh, fuck it. Sure, we'll go with that.
Don't let Tower reach 100. Otherwise, you start kicking people off. I'm fine. Okay. Three weeks have passed this morning. Officers. In addition to your order and crew, I have an officer or perhaps a mascot. You'll need to formally appoint them before you can benefit from the skills, abilities, or animal charisma. To do this, open the officer panels while in port. Let's go something. Okay. So, I can't believe I received a simple more service. I was consigned to a necropolis train bound for the Serene Museum. Sit with a handful of her relatives in the threadbare offices of her solicitors. Uh, methodical and notaries reading the will. I was wealthy once, but squandered her capital on mysterious expenses before her fish into the Blue Kingdom. Not to from whom she was mostly strange, or clearly wondering why you were here. In the final uh, connoisseur, the notary announces Captain Ricklock confirmed that the possession of the Orphean was to pass to his first offer. Sir. New with um, dry gray eyes. This includes a certain black box containing the Orphean soul. When the final request was that at the time you're choosing, you transfer said box to an address in London. Yes, uh, uh, there you may or not to look inside. You get no explanation. That's it. Now the Orphean's yours. So I'll be done. Why the fuck would I do that? Onwards. I see. Um, you know, the Central Station in New Winchester places steam and smut and thundering iron. You might be willing to pay for a skill captain service. I'm going to buy some stuff first. Maybe. Um, explore the city, recruit an cautious driver. Can you investigate the black box? No, you don't. A smoggy, clanking, singing, stamping, thronging, frantic car to the reach. <coughs> An air expanding port of suit smudged glass and bright steel, then across a drifting mist wrapped archipelago. Uh, it's factory sunder, it's so is this just like the earth itself exploded outwards? And now we're just I don't well there's a stars inside thing, but Maybe. Was it I think what Red giants or something like that? Um, do that where they just explode out their outer atmosphere or something? So it's just like an outer atmosphere. Yeah, that has to be it. There's no other way a red giant could grow from a normal star, right? Because it's not like it's only gains mass. It just becomes a lot lighter. Um, it's an in factory sunder. It's engines, sheds, ring with hammers and hiss with steam locomotives chug into the siding to repair. Or flare across the sky and away into the high wilderness. I'm not trading. Civil Sky Affairs fund their expedition by dabbling in trade. Are there any good trading opportunities available? Visit promenade today. I'm clever seeing um No. And gather to trade stories and share advice with young seafarers. How goes the war? Opening war for the reach forms the back to the day life in New Winchester. Citizens wishing to keep up with the developments in the war turn to New Gazette. It's famously the only newspaper worth reading in New Winchester. As well as the only paper that hasn't bankrupted itself. Its quality speaks for itself. You're about the progress of fractions. Check your reputation with fraction. You currently things a thing. Hmm. You know that controls the reach. And some of the ones New Winchester from Victory Hall. And straight in hand the reach. London's proxy. The windward. Company over, maintain a considerable presence of reach. New Winchester is still neutral ground in the amount within and without the port. Let me remain the tacky folk is reporting on more apparently you're not considered worthy of comment. You have no soap pipes facing fortunes and no interest. Perhaps not. Station Excuse me. You captain, a woman pushes through the crowds towards you. One square shoulder and a knee, black suit and polished shoes. 
Look at the case of her pocket watch and the boss of the crown and hourglass of Lenin's horological office, the body responsible for ensuring time is consistent across the empire. Oh, well, the book has to more prosper. She has something to watch away. I can, of course, pay. Hey, sounds promising. Look, I was on broke down, following a boiler rush to the chief engineer's fall, I suspect. I found her uh, brandy than a diligence here. No, some to seal her bargain. No, there's such a thing as north, south. Is there indeed west out here? Instead, not that there are. Hmm. Northwest. There are other brighter, more reliable stars visible from the Empress's new palace and named the north, east, south, and west. And there's value familiarity. North and west, okay. You know, you're gonna meet up with an old friend. She is an earnest mariner. You know, and she serves about the pimps and nails sailing under the sea uh, from Port Cornelian to Wither from the Iron Public to Venderbite. Isn't that the place that got me killed? Uh, bound by the sea. The two users and several captains you were saving enough to seek uh, captaincies of your own. Naturally, messages for one another in twinkling ports scattered across the sea and meeting occasionally in London to share stories of the narrow escapes. Yeah, Sky was a new sea tour. When she arrived in the heavens, she merely bought a locomotive and set out again. Uh, Azazel. Is that the demon? And associates with you, a group of uh, season captains together at the Promise of Days in Luentia. You'll find her there. Hmm. Alright, um, I need to buy stuff. Bizarre. My captain, well, this is a lot of reading. But anyways, that's going to be for this episode, though, so enjoy the city, you know what to do. I think, everything, yeah, everything's paused. I'm curious to know, oh, the experience. Interesting, though, so enjoy the city, you know what to do. See ya.